So yeah, I quit my full-time career and basically changed my whole life plan. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the three reasons why I did it. What is up guys, if you are new here, my name is Will Workman and I'm here to give you the skills, the tools, and the mindset to better protect yourself and your family. So before we jump into this crazy story, if you're new to concealed carry or you just wanna get better at concealing a gun, then I wanna give you something that will really help you out and that's my free guide to concealment. It's basically everything that I wish I knew when I first started carrying a gun and I want you to have it for free. So go check that out in the description down below. All right, so I haven't really talked about it much on the channel, but for the last several years, I have been a probation officer with the state of Virginia. Honestly, as far as the line of work goes, I can't say enough good things. I honestly loved what I did. I really felt like I impacted some kids and some families in the work that I was doing. My coworkers honestly became family to me, and I have no doubt that we'll stay really close over the years. My boss is by far the best boss I've ever had, and we became really good friends, and we're still going on our annual fishing trip later this summer. As far as my schedule, I had a really, really good schedule for a law enforcement job. I worked 8 a.m. to 4.45 p.m. Monday through Friday, and for the most part had weekends off. It was a really good job. The pay was really good. It was competitive for something in law enforcement. I enjoyed the people that I work with and I enjoyed what I did. So why in the world did I leave that full-time career with good pay, good benefits, great people to work with, and a good schedule? There are three big reasons why I left that career. Make sure you watch till the end because the last one is all about you. So the first reason is family. My wife and I have an 11 year old daughter and we have a three year old son and they are growing up way too fast. Uh, we have homeschooled for the last couple of years and I've helped out occasionally with science experiments in the evening or reading through history books but that's about it. I honestly have not been able to be much of a part of their day-to-day -day life, especially when it comes to homeschooling because I'm at work every day. I came to the hard realization this year that the most important thing that I can accomplish in my life is to be a good husband and a good father. That honestly was a hard pill to swallow because I was spending my entire day helping these kids that I barely knew, and yet my kids were at home without me. So that was, that was hard. It was hard coming home and only having like two and a half hours with my son before he goes to bed, maybe three hours with my daughter before she goes to bed. And then with our other business, my wife and I work a lot of weekends. So I just really had to come to the realization that I want to be with my kids. I want to have an intimate, important role in raising my kids. I want to really help with their education. My wife is an amazing teacher and she helps them with a lot of things, but there are also things that I really wanted them to learn. I wanted to take my daughter fishing more. My daughter and I are gonna build a tree house later this summer. I wanna be able to play action figures with my son and build Hot Wheel racetracks and all of that fun stuff that we're able to do during the day before dinner time. I want to be able to be there for my wife and kids and really have the important role that God created me to have in helping raise them. Now, I'm not guilting anyone else into anything. I understand that families need to work. We need money. We need a career. I'm not judging anyone if you have to go to work, even if you have to work long hours or work crazy shifts in order to provide for your family. I get that, I totally get that. But for us, we were able to make this work where I can be home most days and we can provide for our family. All right, and the second thing is honestly the only negative thing that I can say about my former job. And that is that it was against their policy to carry a firearm. I know, right? I was a probation officer, a sworn officer of the court. And yet, because we worked primarily with kids, they did not want us carrying a gun. Now I get that maybe they don't want us to open carry. Honestly, I would prefer that because when you open carry, you're more of a target for somebody that wants to take a gun. But why not let probation officers conceal carry? I don't get it. I was not happy about that from the beginning. I'm one of those crazy people that thinks we have a God-given right for self-defense. And we have this thing called the Constitution that protects that right to keep and bear arms. As a Virginia resident, as a West Virginia resident, as a non-law enforcement citizen, I could carry a gun. 
I could get a concealed carry permit and I could legally possess a firearm, carry a firearm on my person, no problem. But when I stepped into that role of probation officer where I was put in more dangerous situations, walking into houses where known drug deals had taken place, walking into houses where drive-by shootings had happened just days before, I was not able by policy to conceal carry a firearm. So I knew this going into that job. It was not a deal breaker going into it for me, but it was something that I was not very happy about. Anytime I did any type of evaluation or review for my position, it was something that I voiced to my supervisors that I was not very happy to not be able to have tools to defend myself by policy. I actually wrote to some higher up people as I was leaving, letting them know, look, this is a problem that probation officers are facing on an everyday basis. They do not have the tools nor the training or skills to protect themselves if something were to happen. But I still love the people that I work with. I'm still hoping and praying that they will allow the other probation officers to conceal carry and to be able to have the skills, tools, and mindset to protect themselves in the future. And the third reason I quit my job is because of you. Yes, you. If you're watching this video, then I'm talking to you. I created this channel to give ordinary people like me the skills, tools, and mindset to protect themselves and their families. And I love doing that. I love showing up every week and giving you something else to work on, giving you something else to think about, giving you other ideas for things that you may need to add to your range bag or your everyday carry. I want to pass on the things to you that I have learned from incredible instructors and things that I will learn this year, next year, and the years to follow from the amazing instructors that I'm going to be training with. I wanna train you both online and in person. This is how I wanna spend my life. That's why I quit my job. I want to be a husband and a father and a firearms and self-defense instructor. I want to give my family the things that they need and give you the things that you need in order to improve. This is the beginning of the journey for me, and I'm really excited about it. I'm excited about what I can offer you, what I can give you, and what I can learn along the way. So if you want to support this channel, of course, like and subscribe down below. Also, I'm gonna put some affiliate links down in the description. So if you need a great holster, or you need a trauma medical kit, or you need a shot timer, then check those out in the description down below. That's a way that you can support me here on the channel. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for training with me. And I'm really excited about where we go from here and what I'm able to bring you in the future. Until next time, be alert, stand firm in your faith, be courageous, and let everything you do be done in love. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.